Good evening, everyone. Uh, nice to have you here. And uh, this evening lecture will be about antibiotic resistance and the One Health perspective, which I will explain soon. So my name is uh, Joachim Larsson. I'm a professor in environmental pharmacology. So I work with pharmaceuticals in the environment. And I work particularly with antibiotic resistance and the environmental dimensions of antibiotic resistance. I'm also the director of the Center for Antibiotic Resistance Research here at the university, where Anne is one of the members as well. So, uh, let's start. So, what is a One Health perspective? Well, originally One Health was uh, a term that was used to describe the integration of human health and, and animal health and the health of our environment that surrounds us. So you can um, address many health issues from this, from this perspective. When it comes to antibiotic resistance, the One Health perspectives refers more specifically to the, the phenomenon that bacteria and bacterial genes can move between humans and animals and the environment in different ways. So all these three compartments are interconnected, meaning that we cannot deal with this problem just by looking at humans. We also need to look at animals and the environment at the same time, both to understand it and to manage the problem. So that's the one health perspective. Um, and this is something that has been stressed much recently in uh, action plans for how to manage antibiotic resistance. So there are action plans made by the World Health Organization, a global action plan on how to manage antibiotic resistance. And here, One Health is, is uh, addressed in several times. But then there's also national action plans for lots of different countries. Sweden has its own plan, their own plan here. And we also take a One Health approach. approach. So I'll start now by talking a bit about animals. And then we'll move later into the environment part. Right? 